we're going to add, subtract rational real expressions. So if you didn't watch the video on finding the LCM, go and watch it because these problems are involved. They're not hard. They're just long. There's a difference. Okay. Add the rational expression. So first, what you're going to do is you already have like denominators. So your life is so easy. All you have to do is combine like terms in the numerator. So we're going to get put x plus x, which is 2x, and negative 3 plus negative 2, which is negative 5. Leave the denominator alone because you already have like denominators. So leave them alone. So, and then you define your domain just like we did last lesson. Okay, so again, like denominators, right? So combine your like terms. Six plus three is nine, and five plus negative one is four. So x squared minus three, leave the denominator alone. Um, define your domain, x cannot equal negative square root of three and square root of three. Last but not least, example number three. Um, for like denominators, again, if, you're like, if your denominators are alike, all you have to do is combine like terms in the numerator. And pay attention to that negative in the middle because remember when you're subtracting polynomials, you gotta go ahead and distribute that negative, fam. So that's 3x squared minus 2x squared. 3x minus 2x equals 1x squared. Then you distribute that negative to the negative 3x. So that's negative negative 3x. So that's positive 3x. And then you have negative 5 minus negative 2. Negative 5 plus 2, which is negative 3. So this is your answer. And then define your domain. If that's your thing. Now life is a little bit different if I have unlike denominators because first I have to factor the denominators. I know how much we love factoring. Um, we have to find the least common multiple aka like denominators. I have to multiply and then combine like terms and factor if possible, simplify if possible, multiply if possible. <laughs> I know you're like wait a minute. Life just what? It's okay. Breathe. We have six examples to do things better. Okay. Example number one. So first of all, we're going to factor the denominators. The purple one is going to be x squared plus 3x minus 4. And then plus 2x over x plus so what you're going to notice is that the pink side on the denominator is missing a x minus 1. So whatever it's missing, I multiply by that. Leave the purple side alone. The pink side is going to become 2x squared minus 2x. On the bottom, notice that my denominator now has... It always had the, the pink x plus 4, but notice now it has a, a purple x minus 1. That's what I want because now my denominators match. And once the denominators match, guess what I can do? Combine my like terms in the numerator. So we're going to get 2x squared. We're going to do x plus negative 2x. That's what gives us minus 1x in the middle. And then I'm going to put my minus 3 at the end because you remember we want stuff in order okay so we're going to take that with us we're going to factor okay once you factor does anything cancel out nah so if nothing cancels out we multiply everything back and that's our final answer i know you're like wait miss bernard you just did a lot it's okay. Again, it's not hard. It is a lot of steps, though, compared to the first three examples where we just literally just combined like terms. 
Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. Factor the denominators. So the first one, there was nothing to factor. The second one, x minus 2, x plus 2. What is the purple side missing in the denominator? Good. It's missing an x minus 2. So I have to multiply the top and the bottom of the purple part by x minus 2. So I'm going to distribute that x. So I'm going to get x squared minus 2x. And notice on the bottom, what do we get? The same thing that we have on the pink part. So now our denominators match. This is what I want. I want them to match. Okay, so now I can combine like terms. And look at that. There's no like terms to combine, so I'm just going to go ahead and put everything on top. Leave the denominator alone. That's why you did that. You did that so you could get a like denominator. Okay? So don't be getting rid of nothing. So now that I have that answer, we factor just to see if there's anything we can cancel out. And look, in this problem, <gasps> we can cancel out x plus 2s. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the x plus 2 over the x plus 2. And... Uh, there's nothing for me to multiply, so my answer is x minus 4 over x minus 2. Remember to use your original denominator to define your domain. Okay, example number 3. So we're going to factor our denominators. So what we're going to notice is actually we just factor a GCF of 2 out of the first one, and then we're going to factor a GCF of 3 out of the second one. So the purple side is missing a 3, and the pink side is missing a 2. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply by 3 on one side, and we're going to multiply by 2 on top and bottom on the second side. So let's get our little distribution on. Okay. I don't know why I didn't put no arrows on the other side. What is that with the 3? <laughs> anyway, so 3 times 3x is 9x. On the bottom, 3 times 2 is 6. Leave the x minus 1 alone. If you multiply the 3 times the 2, you already did the inside sub subsequently. I know that's a big word. S-H-A word. On the other side, when you distribute the 2, you get 6x minus 4 on top, and then 2 times 3 is 6. Leave the x minus 1 on the bottom. I know y'all y'all be wanting to do 2x minus 2 on the end. Like, it's no. It's not mathematically correct. So now we're going to add our numerators, but that's a subtraction sign. So we're going to say 9x minus 6x, and that's going to give us 3x. And then negative, negative 4, that minus in the middle, and the minus in front of the 4 make a positive. So that's 3x plus 4. On the bottom, uh, our denominator is 6x minus 6. Okay. There's nothing to factor out, nothing to simplify, so this is our answer. All right, example number four out of six, we're almost done. So I have 2x plus 5 on one side as a denominator, and I have 5x minus 2 on the other side. Neither of those can be factored. Womp womp. So guess what has to happen? I have to multiply everything by 5x minus 2 on one side, and then I have to multiply everything by 2x plus 5 on the other side. Whew. So that's some double distribution on the top. Because you got to do 5x times 3x, 5x times negative 2, negative 2 times 3x, negative 2 times negative 2. Whew. A lot. And then on the top here, one, this one's easy because you just got to multiply 2 on the bottom. Notice on the on the top. Notice on the bottom, guys. Take a deep breath. It's okay. I know a lot is going on on the screen. <laughs> uh, 
on the bottom, I'm not, I didn't foil or distribute on the bottom. I just literally left them in parentheses, 5x minus 2, 2x plus 5. Leave it alone. It's okay for now. Okay, so on the left-hand side, we're going to combine like terms. So negative 10x minus 6x is going to give me negative 16x in the middle. Bring everything else down. Okay, plus we're going to bring everything down because there's nothing to simplify on that side. We're going to combine our like terms. Add the numerators. All right, these arrows are all out of whack. What in the world? Anyway. So when I combine my like terms, I have 15x squared. Then I have negative 16x plus 4x. That gives me negative 12x. And then I have 4 plus 10, 14. On the bottom, when I distribute everything out, I get 10x squared plus 21x minus 10. It's a big old problem. There's a lot of, mm, anyway, this is what uh, it cannot equal. All right, so we're going to factor our denominators. And we're going to get x plus 8, x minus 8 for the purple side. What is the pink side missing? The pink side is missing an x minus 8. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by x minus 8. So when I distribute x minus 4 times x minus 8, you do x times x, which is x squared, x times negative 8, negative 4 times x, that's going to give me negative 12x in the middle, and then negative 4 times negative 8 is positive 32. So then make sure that you subtract the numerators, but that requires you to do what? It requires you to distribute that negative to the pink part. So that's negative x squared, positive 12x, and negative 32. Two x minus x squared is x squared. Negative minus 12x, negative negative, positive 12x. 64 minus 32, positive 32. So then what we're going to do is we're going to factor that top. And what are we going to notice? Oh my goodness, I can cancel something out. Or simplify. I don't like to use the word cancel, sorry. And then so that leaves me with x plus 4 and x minus 8. Ta-da! Okay, take a deep breath. Here's one more example. the rational expression so we're going to say factor the denominators what is the right hand side missing it's missing another x minus 3 right so we're going to multiply it by an x minus 3 when I distribute that 1, 1 times x is still x. 1 times negative 3 is still negative 3. And then on the bottom, I have my denominator, right? So I'm going to add the numerators. x plus x is 2x. Negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6, so 2x minus 6. And then on the bottom... Um, I have x squared minus 6x plus 9. We want to factor again just to see if there's anything I could cancel out. So look at that. When I take the GCF out of 2x minus 6, I get x minus 3 on the inside with a 2 on the outside, and then x minus 3 and x minus 3. 
so we would cancel out excuse me we would simplify out the x minus 3 and I'd be left with the 2 and the other x minus 3 on top on the bottom what am I saying on this side and then that's it okay that's the lesson in a nutshell you should definitely watch this over again because I know this is a lot okay um bye